So in this Dying Light 2 video, I'm going to be showing you what happens when we help the chicken from outer space. Yeah, that's right. There's literally a space chicken in a game that we can talk to. And you'll see why. It's actually really beneficial to talk to this chicken. This is a neat secret that the developers decided to add in. I did not expect to be talking to a freaking chicken in this game, but... It's possible, believe it or not. So first things first, in order to find this space chicken, we're going to have to head on over to the stronghold, which is located right here on the map. As you can see, I'm in front of the entrance of the stronghold right now. So yeah, let's head on inside and head up to the top of this place. You could take whatever route you want to take to get up to the top. I'm just going to climb this pipe right here that's attached to the side of the building to get up. There's multiple routes to take to get up. This is just one that you can. I'm going to jump up to the roof up here and then, yeah, as you can see, we're up. Anyways, once we're up here, we're just going to want to head this way and head on inside the building. There's actually an entrance down here. Once we're in here, we're just going to want to head up these stairs here. Now, I did realize during the mission when I first arrived at the stronghold, this door was locked. So if you find that the door is shut and locked for you, you're just going to have to come back to this place eventually. I just came back after I beat the game, and I was able to gain access. But anyways, once we go through this door here, this will actually lead to where the space chicken is located at. He's located right back here in the room with an orange tent. And right outside of his room, we can find this poster that says, The Escape. And you can see... <laughs> The chicken shadow right there. But yeah, inside of the secret room back here, you can tell, first off, it's highly detailed. It's filled with loads of interesting things. It's pretty cozy in here. But yeah, on the other side of this tent, we can find this chicken in a cage. And here's what happens when we go to approach him. He actually starts talking to us. And we can actually have a little conversation with this chicken, as you can see. We can choose to talk with him. And since this chicken doesn't really talk, I'll go ahead and read what he's saying. Check this out. Here's what happens when we go to talk with him. <sighs> you talk? Whoa. Finally! What the hell? A talking hen? Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no hen. I'm a cock. Whoa, co co Space cock. You look more like a hen to me. And a talking one, too. Whoa. It's a disguise. Why? It's obvious, you fool. I can't let anyone recognize me, hence the hen disguise. And I don't talk. I've been tuning our brainwaves to make contact with you, humans. First, that idiot Steve, and now this guy. I am Brunek, space cock of the new Galactic Federation Landing Force, and I have come to annihilate you all. I... <laughs> What? He's speechless. I don't blame Aiden. Well, at least that was our goal. Save planet Earth from the pest. But you did it yourselves. Without our help. Way to go. Wait, the pest? Right. You look like a fairly young homo sapiens specimen. You may be in the dark. Humans, as a species, have taken full control of the entire planet Earth and all its resources. They greedily exploited them like a bark beetle devouring a healthy tree. The new Galactic Federation decided to exterminate people to save the Earth. But as we came here in 2014, the epidemic had already reached a fairly advanced stage. We made a decision to evacuate our kinsmen. We started with Haran, the hotbed of the plague. And we watched from a distance how the virus was managing. It did great, don't you think? Uh, let's just go with no. It's been a long time since I've had chicken. <laughs> Easy there. Why so serious? As we like to think, no use crying over a broken egg. Time to get down to business. That idiot Steve saved me from a trap. But since then, for over 15 years now, he's been keeping me in this cage, believing that I'm the only one who understands him. Which is not that hard. A simple mind. What's it going to be with the new one here? Uh, I, I think you're talking to yourself. I'm not talking, transmitting thoughts for this process. I have to tune my brain waves to another brain. And for 15 years, I've only had Steve's brain in here until today, the day you showed up. Okay, time to get down to business. In a nutshell, help me get out of here and there's going to be a reward for you. So yeah, let's go with yes, we'll help. I 
must have gone mad. <laughs> but it's not hard to lose it around here. This is great. All right, what do you need? That's right, my sweet little hen. Daddy's coming home. A simple matter, an electronics module that got fried in my ship. It does sound simple enough. Well then, cluck cluck, and off you go. Okay, so now after talking to this space chicken, as you can see, if we agree to help him, we'll trigger this side quest that we can take on. And we do get something pretty awesome from this side quest. As you can see, it is a tier 5 side quest. It states, I met Brunick, a space rooster from the new Galactic Federation Airborne Division, communicating with me via brainwaves. He asked me to release him from his cage in Steve's room. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and track that one. We're going to have to find a spaceship part to actually release this thing. As you can see, it's located on the edge of the map pretty close by. So yeah, let's head out and retrieve it. Alright, so we're here. Jeez, look at this thing that it's on. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take this. It's one crazy looking vehicle. <laughs> Alright, so we got the spaceship part now of the bizarre looking vehicle. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we take this back to that bizarre chicken. Okay, here's your spaceship part. Let's see what he has to say this time. Once again, I'll translate. We'll part our ways here, human. Considering your contribution to the new Galactic Federation, I'm sure the council will be easy on you. Come with me, nothing awaits you here. Wait, what? Okay, uh, let's agree to come with the chicken. Well, um... Uh, why not? Off we go then. What is happening? Brunick, I'm still here. I didn't take your weight into account in my calculations. <laughs> oh man. Unfortunately, it won't work this time, human. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. As soon as I get home, I'll send you a little gift. Over and out. Over and out. God. Okay, so that's the end of this side quest. And he does send us a gift immediately after the side quest ends. As you can see on the table now, there's a blueprint that we can pick up called the Pan of Destiny. This is an amazing weapon that we can use. Definitely a one of a kind and highly recommend getting your hands on this if you want to have a bit of fun around in Time Light too. As you can see, it's going to require 369 parts to craft. So yeah, it does require quite a bit of parts to make. But once you do make it, here's how it works. it immediately comes back to you after every throw. And you could throw this thing extremely fast. It's basically a boomerang pan. Literally every time you throw it, it'll come right back to you. No matter where you throw it, it'll just automatically keep coming back to you. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and it helped you out in some kind of way. I'm out of here though. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.